Hello YouTube, this is Mayan J. Today the purpose of this video is to show you how to root the GooPhone i5C. As you guys know, this is the uh, clone of the um, iPhone 5C and um, this phone supposedly according to a Tulu test, it runs the Android 4.2.2 and I'm about to show you that right now. I'm also going to show you the last score I got was almost 10,000 uh, which is pretty decent uh, for you know it having uh, the MTK 6572 and as you hear as you see here guys the OS is 4.2.2 um, this phone also the resolution of the screen I think it's actually true it's a, uh, 480 by 800 now guys um, once again I'm gonna mention this again this phone only is about $93 if I'm not mistaken uh, that is before uh, shipping so this phone is quite affordable okay guys so now uh, pretty much what you have to do is you gotta uh, enable um, the uh, USB debugging uh, as you can see I already have it um, activated right here at the very bottom I don't know if you can see that let me show you here so USB debugging connected the way you activate it is you go to settings, you go to general, then you're going to scroll down, you go to applications, and then on applications, you're going to see um, unknown sources, always have that checked on, and then you're going to see development. So on development, you're going to see here USB debugging, make sure it's turned on, okay? Once that happens, all you have to do now, guys, is just you plug it onto the computer. Uh, as you see right here and now to install the drivers guys this is just the, the best most efficient way to install it is if you install snappy on your uh, phone and also on the computer as you can see I have it right here let me see if I can focus this I have snappy installed so that will help install the drivers and it'll make things a lot more easier okay uh, next thing you're going to do guys, believe it or not, uh, the root process for this phone is the same as the root process for other uh, MTK6589 devices. So pretty much all you have to do is you uh, download the zip file that I'm going to provide in the link below. Then you're going to extract the file into a regular folder. Then once you open the file into a regular folder, you're going to see here it says run batch. You're going to uh, double click on that. And if, if you're running Windows 8, you got to click run. If not, if you were running Windows 7, this should open automatically. Next thing, you got to follow the instructions. It says right here clearly, press any key to continue. So you do exactly that. All right, guys, and it's going to start doing this thing. All right, and as you can see, root was successful, as you can see right here. So now it's saying uh, press any key to continue. So you're going to do exactly that. Okay, and now the phone is going to start. As you can see right here. Now guys, there's a way to activate. I just got to find the code. I got to contact the seller, um, Effet. And he's going to got to give me the code. Uh, there's a code you enter and it changes the boot logo. Now for some phones, it's different. It's uh, on the dialer. So I'm pretty sure I can get the Apple logo on there. So now we wait until boots up and let's find out whether or not it has uh, root permissions. All right guys, so the phone has booted up. Okay, so now the next thing we're gonna verify is with, um, of course we see here already super user, which I was already rooted, I just rerouted it. And then now you're gonna go here where it says, well actually you see it twice now. Uh, we're gonna go here where I have the application called Root Explorer. And as you can see guys right here from the bottom, uh, root permissions have been granted. So now I can do, uh, you know, I can customize the phone or even install future ROMs, which you may never know uh, what comes, uh, uh, you know, available for this phone. So far guys, this phone is completely English. Um, all the applications are going to go around here, including maps, is in English, it's not the uh, Beidou. Uh, we have the clock, it's an English app. We also have, um, uh, of course, the notes application is in English. Everything pretty much is in English. I think this is uh, another application here that we see that usually was in Chinese or it was uh, like a file manager. We see it in um, English. Let's see. 
Also, this application for the passbook for uh, I don't I don't think this works actually, but I mean at least it's there. Um, let's see, and on the settings is the only thing that looks a little different. It looks more like iOS six, but it still, guys, it does work quite well. Uh, let me go to general and about, and here you will see the phone's information. This is just so you have an idea of how this phone operates. Um, also, the back the back cover is easily removable. So that way I gotta show you how to replace the SD card because as a matter of fact, it doesn't come with an SD card. So you can always uh, replace it with your own, okay? Or just install one on your own. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you that actually uh, on the next video. Um, pretty much, guys, I'm quite impressed with the quality of this phone considering that it is a knockoff. You know, this is not the original thing and it does operate quite well, as you can see here. Um, Pretty much all the application, um, you know, are in um, are in English. Okay, uh, let's see here. He, he also had the music application. Everything is just pretty much the same, guys. It looks a lot like the Google Phone i5, um, except that well, we have supposedly the MTK6572, uh, but I think it does pretty well, anyways. And um, that uh, also the phone comes pre-installed with the Play Store. Okay, so that's another plus. We don't have to do that work. And here on utility, it comes with a context application, calculator, uh, voice memos, and also the file manager. All right. So guys, that's all I'm going to go through now with this video. Uh, please subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions and have a good one.